Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and you cannot talk about moving to Florence or the PD without talking about Darlington. The Darlington Raceway is right outside of Florence County in Darlington County, obviously, and it is home of two major races on the NASCAR circuit, the Mother's Day race and the well-known Southern 500, which just so happens to be today. Now it's South Carolina, it's the 1st of September, so it's right here in the dead of summer, and it's hot. So if you stick around, I'm gonna show y'all some pro tips about attending the race for your own comfort. Just some little tips that you may not know in some insights. The fact is, even though I'm in Florence County, we can hear the cars on race night from our driveway, which is where I listened to the race last year. However, this year, we're going to be right down on the action because we are going to the track. But before we head over there, I want to show you something else that's at the Darlington Raceway, which is the Darlington Raceway Museum. And we paid $5 to get into the museum over the weekend. And so I want to take you in there and show you what that's all about. And then after that, we're going to head over to the track. All right, so that is the Darlington Museum. That may be something of interest if you're wanting to know a little bit more about the track or a little bit more about NASCAR in general. But really what it's all about is the green flag and racing. So we are about to head over to the track. Again, I'm gonna drop some pro tips on y'all, just some things that you might wanna consider if you're going to attend a race in Darlington. We're gonna check out some of the festivities and then we're gonna be there for whenever the green flag waves. So with that being said, let's head over to Darlington Raceway and check out the Cookout Southern 500. All right, so let's just go through a couple of tips real quick. Now for one on your screen is gonna be a list of acceptable and prohibited items you can bring into the track. Be mindful to check that next year or any year that you're coming as that list could update and change, but for now, that's what it is. All right, so here's the things you're gonna to wanna to have. For one, seat cushions. Bring some water, you can bring a cooler, beverages, food. Make sure you do that, that's gonna save you a couple of dollars. If you've never been, you're gonna to wanna to have the option of these earplugs, all right? You may want to use them, you may not, but you're going to want to have them. Be better to have them and not need them than want them and not have them. Oh yeah, bring you a cup, keep your drink cold. Then what I would recommend is pick you up a headset with an intercom set. So with these, you can listen to the drivers. You can pick a driver and listen to them. You can listen to the radio broadcast. So it's like watching it on TV. 
but instead of having your 60 inch, you have an infinite inch. Or the thing that I'm excited about this weekend is um, if you are coming with a friend or your spouse or whatever, you get the intercom set, then you can talk to one another because once this thing starts, you're not gonna be talking to somebody even if they're sitting right here. You're gonna be screaming and they still probably aren't gonna be able to hear you. So definitely pick these up. We paid $100 to get this set. real driveway right now. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That was the Cookout Southern 500. It's a NASCAR tradition. It's certainly a tradition down here in our area. People come from all over, though. The guy sitting next to us yesterday was from Phoenix, but he's living in Greenville, drove down from Greenville to watch the race. The track's over one and a quarter miles, like 1.36, holds about 47,000 people, and it's just a good time, man. It's like I tell people, even if you have no point of reference to NASCAR whatsoever, if you have just the remote interest in your mind, you need to go check it out. Uh, it really is a really good time and the race last night was really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for future content because we try to cover everything going on in our area and in the Myrtle Beach area to let you know what's going on if you are moving or considering moving to our neck of the woods. And with that being said, y'all take care and we will see you on the next video.